Hello, and welcome to Tony Tony's Kitchen. If this is your first time coming to this channel, please do not make it your last. Please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of my newest uploads. We had a chance to check out the world famous Harlem Globetrotters at the PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina. In the 1940s, the Globetrotters won the first World Basketball Championship. In 1948 and 1949, the Globetrotters stunned the world by twice defeating the world champion Minneapolis Lakers of the NBA. The Globetrotters were socially influential and quickly became recognized as the world's best basketball team, showing that African Americans could excel on a professional level. The Globetrotters continued to enjoy in men's popularity in the 70s and 80s. The Harlem Globetrotters cartoon showed on CBS earned some of the highest ratings in the history of Saturday morning television. Today, the Globetrotters continue to bring their entertainment to millions of fans around the world with more than 400 live events each year. Each Globetrotters game features some of the best athletes on the planet unmatched fan interaction, incredible ball handling, wizardly rim rattling, dunks, and side splitting comedy. In all, close to 750 men and women have played for the world famous team, a team which has entertained popes, kings, and presidents around the globe. Former Globetrotters player Manny Jackson purchased the team in 1993, becoming the first African American to own a major international sports and entertainment organization. He tripled the team's revenue in three years and quadrupled its size in five. The team was also active in philanthropic efforts with charitable contributions totaling more than $11 million under Jackson's guidance. Globetrotter Michael Wild Thing Wilson set a world record in 2000 by dunking on a 12-foot hoop at Final Four weekend a record that stands to this day and one of 21 world records currently held by Globetrotter players.